Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. First off, I want to give you some words of encouragement, which can be found in 1 Peter 5. 1 Peter, of course. Go down here, 5. And then over here to verse uh, 6. I want to read to you. Therefore, be humble. Well, I mean, excuse me. Therefore, humble yourselves, or be humble, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. That word exalt means to lift you up. Lift you up into a greater standing. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks around like, not is, but like a roaring lion. So Jesus Christ is the Lion of Judah. Satan wants to be like Jesus Christ. Seeking whom he may devour. Rest in him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are expected by your brotherhood in the world. But many of God, excuse me, but may the God of all grace who called us to his inter eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After you have Suffered a while, perfected, established, strengthened, and settled you. To him be the glory and the domination forever and ever. Amen. I mean, I, dominion, to me, dominion. Forever and ever. I'm trying to hold my camera where uh, you can sit and then work, look at the words a, a different way here. Instead of through my camera lens. Well, now also I want to read to you in... Um, and over here in First John. First John... Chapter 2, because that's where 2 starts with that big number 2. But I want to go over here to um, verse 18. Of course, it says right there that the deceptions of the last hour. Little children. It is the last hour. As you have heard that the Antichrist is coming. Even now, many Antichrists, which is, see, the difference between the word Antichrist, Antichrist is capitalized. That's the main Antichrist is coming. But there are many antichrists, small a, which are people that do not believe in Jesus Christ, have come, by which we know that is the last hour. With all these antichrists and agnostics coming out nowadays and all these people that are 
LGBTQs coming out. A lot of them do not believe in God. And the ones that do believe in God want to twist what God really is. Now I want to finish here real quick. Let me go down here to uh, 22. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ he is an antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. So, and let the truth abide in you, which is what it, I have the truth. I have the truth. No matter how much you want to try to say, I don't, how many, how, how, no matter how much you want to try to twist the truth, no matter how much you want to say, oh, well, God wouldn't do that. It's in His Word. What am I supposed to do? Rip it out? That's what you expect. That's what you want. Well, I'm not doing that. I don't care what you say. I'm, I am preaching the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. That there are people that are getting it. Then there's people that do not want to get it because they just don't care. Hacking my computer. Um, Getting things off of my Facebook, uh, going to uh, Google and Googling me and getting things off of Google, and just trying to do anything that they can to, to, to hurt me and destroy me and my ministry because they think. I don't know they watch my videos. For that person that's been treating me a lot here lately, posting a lot of my uh, doc documents on Twitter, they said they live here in Carrollton. I want you to prove it. Not by the pictures that you took at Heartland Hill, if you did take those pictures. Also, not by the picture that was uh, you posted of my neighbor's mobile home if you did take that picture if you actually live here in Carrollton you would know that the Carrollton pa local paper comes out today I want you to take that paper I want you to hold it in your hand and I want you to take a picture of that paper And if you can, go to the library and do it at the library. That would even be more proof right there. If you go to the library and take a picture of the paper, the front page that has today's date on it, and to show that you're also at the library. That way I will know that you are really from Carrollton, Ohio. Otherwise, you're just getting these photographs somehow and posting them on your Twitter account to make it look like you're in Carrollton when you're probably in another state or even in another country. That's the only way to prove that you're here. I think I've said enough as it is. All I just want to say, and I keep saying this over and over again if you're if you're not saved become washed in the blood of Jesus Christ because the blood is the only thing that saves and no for that person in Canada it isn't wine that saves 
The blood is not the wine. The blood is only a representation of Jesus Christ's blood that he shed on the cross. And not an upright stake like uh, some other religions believe. He was on a cross. He had his arms stretched out. Because see, that's what you do when you accept. You accept somebody. You're, 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 somebody's coming to you and you're accepting them. You stretch your arms out so you can hug them. Well, that's what Jesus was doing for us. He was hugging us on the cross. He was taking our sins upon him. While he was bleeding. See, <clears throat> so it's in the Old Testament that sacrifice was the only thing that was a, to atone for our sins. But the sacrifice was only a temporary thing. Because you had to do it every year, every year, every year. Go to the temple and, and bring your sacrifice. Jesus Christ was our permanent sacrifice. That is why his blood is the only thing that saves our sins. But the thing is too, once saved, always saved isn't always true either. Because of the fact people do fall back into their sinful ways. Their sinful lifestyle. Does that mean that they're saved? No. If they fall back, how can you be saved and fall back? The Bible also says you can have your name blotted out of the Lamb's Book of Life. So these preachers that preach once saved, always saved, and you're sealed. Read your Bible again where it says your name can be blotted out. There's also some other verses I can give you as well that proves that you can turn away from God and go back to your sinful lifestyle. So that takes away, that, blow, that blows that whole uh, once saved, always saved uh, the theology out of the water. Read your Bible. The whole Bible. Not what you want to believe in. And that, that's the problem with this world today. Just want to... <sighs> You're so for yourself. You're so full of pride in what uh, the world had offered you. You can't see the truth anymore. Be washed in the blood, become born again. And then you will see the truth. Repent of your sins. Turn away from your sins. God bless you. Have a blessed day.